Hey guys, Kevin here with Skylab Flight Systems. I have another tutorial for you. Uh, this tutorial will be uh, for Lemon RX receivers. It will be for the six channel DSMX Featherlight receiver with satellite port. And I'm gonna show you how to bind that to a Spectrum radio. Before we get started, there are three things that you have to have um, in order to do the binding. The first thing is you need a spectrum radio, uh, six channel or more. Uh, before you start the binding process, please make sure that you've created the new model that you intend to use this receiver with. Um, it makes things a lot easier uh, when, you're, when you're doing the binding procedure. Um, the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need your Lemon RX six channel Featherlight DSMX receiver and you're going to need the satellite so what i'm going to do um, i'm going to tell you about the third thing that you need which is power for the receiver uh, you have two options there you can install the receiver in the aircraft that you plan to use it with if you do that please disconnect the propellers so you don't have an accidental startup that might result in injury um, or as the second option, you can use a receiver battery. Uh, there are receiver batteries out there available. A lot of people have them already. If you p choose to use a battery, please do not use a 12 volt battery as it will blow up the receiver and it will vo void your warranty. So let's get started. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the receiver and we are gonna connect the satellite very simple process it can only plug in one way the connection is a very positive connection so you have to you'll feel it snap in place okay uh, once we have that in place the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the provided bind plug this is the bind plug right here and we're going to plug it into the receiver now on the Lemon RX receiver, the bind port is the furthest to the left if the receiver is up like this. Um, it says BI on it. When you get your receiver, you'll be able to see it. Um, so we're going to plug that in. Now, it does not matter which way you plug in the bind plug because it's the same either way. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to provide power to our receiver. And you want to plug that into the throttle port, which happens to be right next to the bind port. Um, when you do this, you want the signal wire facing up or pointing up. Uh, that's the way the lemon receivers are set up. So your black wire will be facing down. So we're going to plug that in right now. When you plug that in, the LED on the receiver and the satellite is flashing very fast. That means that the receiver and the satellite are in the bind uh, they are ready to be bound. So what we're going to do then is we're going to set that down and we're going to get a radio and while holding the bind button on your spectrum radio you're going to power it on. Now you might want to leave a little bit of space between the receiver and the radio uh, so the signal comes through clear and, and you don't have a failure. Um, so let's go ahead and power up. I'm using a DX9 and um, it'll actually tell me what it's doing as I uh, as I turn everything on. So let's give that a shot. Okay, now this receiver and satellite are bound to my radio. To complete the process, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bind plug. And then we're going to remove the power from the receiver and we're going to turn off the radio to verify that these that these two are actually bound to the radio what we're going to do is we're going to put power back to the receiver using the we're going to plug into the throttle port just like we did the first time when we were binding it but we're not going to use the bind plug then we're going to turn on the radio and what we should get is a solid led on both pieces there we go that's it that's all there is to it uh, remember to visit scratchbuilds.com for all your lemon rx needs and always fly safe thanks a lot 
Happy New Year.